Hello everyone, welcome to this lovely channel that you've found on the internet. Uh, we are, as usual, playing Valhalla. Good evening, Agile. Good timing. Is it, though? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, the dog isn't coming until some time later. Anyway, do you have something planned for today? <laughs> for Sunday? <laughs> so, I'm basically it's lighter early than the dog. <laughs> What, should, uh, what a silly mega Christmas special, we had a thousand grams of black fur on my lap, why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday, you in? Hmm, sure, why not? Alrighty then, invite any client you are acquainted with, the more the merrier. Uh, you didn't bring your cat today. The race stopped, they found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Huh, anyways, we better start working? Yeah, you better. You better? Time to mix some drinks and change the lines. Welcome to Val... A normal client! <laughs> that was the one most surprising thing. <laughs> A normal client! <laughs> uh, someone with common sense! Uh, maybe, I don't know. Let's see how common sense is the little lady we have here. Um, I want a fluffy dream. May I see your ID, please? Oh, because he's uh, very young. I don't have an ID because um, I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas <laughs> Oh damn, he's the Mega Christmas Pass. I'll hold you constant unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yes, I have money. I don't think she has. The girl has the fluffy dream, but she's uh, got to be crazy if she thinks that she's getting alcohol so easily. <laughs> Am I gonna... I'm gonna make her like uh, some fake uh, beverage and call, call, call her Fluffy Dream. Fluffy and un alcoholic beverage. Fluffy Dream and we know alcohol. Here you go. Oh, I actually got a drink. <laughs> so why are you here to stalk Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Pass? Stalk? Oh, right, I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy, yeah. Which employee do you leave without a Mega Christmas? Th Jill? <laughs> Jill, please. <laughs> It wouldn't be funny if he created to. Sorry kid, I'm not able to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so I will gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. A not alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh. So if you will please leave. I can't leave, not after trying too hard, so <laughs> get there. <laughs> Why you are here? <laughs> I don't try so hard. Well, was it that hard to reach a bar? <sighs> Alright, let's start from the beginning. Miss Norma. How do you know my name? I saw your ID. It could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at 80 at the very least. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is always fun. It's so fucking hilarious. Like, millennials or like very young people's like fake ideas. Like, Make at least believable! Jesus Christ! Your effort was so shit! So fucking shit! <laughs> at least make it fake enough to be fake! Don't make it fucking stupid! <laughs> I had a- oh my god. I had a friend of- uh, well. I had a friend of a friend that basically I know him and it basically also my, my, my most fucking shitty stupid thing ever. He basically Got his ID, and with this a pencil or a, a pen, basically, try to change the, uh, a number to look look like a nine, so it's nineteen or something. I don't remember specifically what he was trying. Well, he was basically trying to change the the date, right? And uh, I, I think it was something so stupid, and it was like using a fucking pen, and oh my god! And the bouncer even looked at it was like. You know you have to get a new one now. <laughs> or oh, is that real ID? It was so the most stupid shit ever. Oh my god! And this other friend of mine, even more cunt. He basically went to the a uh, 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 a disc and with a fake ID. The problem with the fake ID was having some problem with uh, some numbers problem. Did uh, still show him underage. Then he actually went away, changed it, and come back. And the funky bouncer wanted to punch him so badly because he was like, 
I know you're underage. You already show me your fake ID. You think by changing your I your fake ID to another fake ID will make me want to let you in? <laughs> oh my god, you, you cannot imagine the stories. Oh, they're so fucking stupid. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I went for a tangent. <laughs> you're very sharp, Miss Bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Uh, um... Uh, you seem like you are in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Nah, she just like that all the time. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up! Sorry I've been harsh. Uh, these last couple of days have been heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Incident? Someone got shot to the fucking head. Well... Don't change the subject, non lady. Why did you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal, in which anyone case... In which case anyone can shoot and probably will stop you. I, ju I just wanted to be more wild, you know? Wild? My mom puts away too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough, it's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired, I don't want to do things for her anymore. So you came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home and smelling like alcohol, she should leave me alone. She will leave me alone. I, they usually backfire. They even, they probably like close you inside <laughs> the, the, the home. And I'm, I'm basing myself for a very strict family. So I'm not sure what is your family situation. But from what I hear, they usually kind of stuff backfire big time. Like, I've been blamed for smoking, <laughs> taking drugs and shit, even though I never done any of it! <laughs> I'm so annoyed! <laughs> it's like, uh, you smoke, do you ever saw me holding a cigarette? Like, you know how fucking hard it is to hide the smell of smoke. <laughs> like, even with deodorant, you still need, like, uh, <laughs> you can still smell it. I can smell it. <laughs> it's like, how the fuck you think, like, I understand that everyone I know, or oh, at least a lot of my friends smoke. Doesn't make me a smoker automatically. <laughs> Osmosis. Oh my god, I'm so annoying. And they, you know, just to prove a point, I kind of make me feel to want to smoke. Just because, uh, just to prove a point, it's like, uh, I was like, oh yeah, you're right, I'm smoking. Really? It's like, no, you dickhead. <laughs> it's not air pollution for me to not needing to smoke, okay? <laughs> I'm not good enough for her. Might almost well kill any hope she has in me. Remind me of this client I had a while ago. She um, passed out in the street and my boss broke her here. Your attitude reminds me of how she got once drunk. Huh? Yeah, bitter about the pressure, except on her. Hers was workplace pressure, but it still reminds me a lot of her. Sorry, just, it just, it just fucking get in my eyes. So what of it? So before you think anything else, calm down. I don't want you to go through what she went through. I'm calm. So let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed? Yes. You like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Like most young people think. You are doing things wrong. What? If you are gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Exactly! <laughs> if you have to do <laughs> If you have to do it that way, <laughs> at least make it something that you enjoy. <laughs> and also <laughs> And also, trust me, you wanna drink when, uh, when you know, you are in a bad mood. <laughs> There's a reason why it tastes so great. <laughs> like, become a belly dancer uh, because you wanna be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you are just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something what you like doing. I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I wanna do. So, at the end of the day, you're an empty husk. The problem about this, I believe a lot of young people like that. Like, ah, uh, oh, still focus on academics, then I'll tend to like, I don't know what the fuck I want to do. I, I, like, I intend to choose some random mayor for for mayor's sake. Me included, basically. <laughs> I have a friend like that. I basically choose physics. We don't give a shit about physics. <laughs> it's so hilarious. He's good at it, don't get me wrong. Like, he's not too bad at it. But still, doesn't, he doesn't care. I don't was like, oh, okay. You think you should snow there? Huh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in your over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. And if you are hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy, sounds silly, huh? Very. 
Go home, do some uh, cell discovery before hurting your mom, will you? Oh, at the very least, humor her until you are old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill, alright. Careful out there! In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy. <laughs> Hello, little girl. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Jay and Jay, how are you doing? You're late. Miss me, Jay? You are too early. <laughs> you are too early? I, I see Jill is more a, a card person. How good to see you here. Boss, will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Ah, oh, of course, I spent lots of time training him. But you think he didn't show up like this week? <laughs> uh, but, but, but I'm proud of here. Uh, yes, uh, we know. <laughs> We're talking shit about you! <laughs> you should be present when we're talking about shit about you, don't you think so? <laughs> because how the hell would I know you bring a part-timer dog? Here, yeah, let me show you! Sit! Uh, so, <laughs> Sir Yasa! Aye aye! Roll! Sir Yasa! <laughs> Paul! Sir Yasa! Training, of course. He's only shouting Sir Yasa and nothing doing anything else, though. I never said I did perfect a job. <laughs> Is that a motorcycle? Oh shit. Hey, not in my office! In the end, he's he just a dog, I guess. Mm, yes? Uh, bathroom. Oh, sorry, it's only for clients. Um, promise me you'll buy something afterwards? Is uh, that door over there? What the hell are you? The other one. Sheesh. I said get out of my desk! But the world is ending! Well, just a motorcycle. <laughs> there, are, there are four riders then. There's a horseman and it's really stopped. Thanks. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh no, you don't have to, sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. No, I'll order something, I need a, a rest anyway. Can I get. What can I get you? A uh, piano woman would be nice. Sorry, didn't hear you. Ahem, uh -oh, I'll have a month. <laughs> <laughs> <She's old. laughs> um sure. Let's make her let's make it a piano woman. Here. You look happy. Shut up! Is that motorcycle out there your sister? <laughs> Call me Mario, and yes, it's mine. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Oh don't worry, it's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. So what do you work as Mario? I uh, live to paint the rose black with my <laughs> wheels, leaving the trail of an engine sound wherever I go. <laughs> I'm a rebel, fuck the red lights, fuck the speed limits, fuck the helmet laws. The rules are mine and mine alone. I am. Guys, I'm going outside with the dog. We will advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady, sh shady guy. Shady? I'll be back before long, don't worry. <laughs> Alright. Careful. Who was she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. Uh, not that you are not cute, and it's not like I'm into girls, either. <laughs> what? What? That's supposed to be? <laughs> I'm not into girls, anyway. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that, I just... Uh... So, where do you work, Mario? Ah, I told you, I'm a rebel. I... Rebels cannot maintain those bikes for long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> that's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city and I always like the power of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but remember every intersection and every street. That was nice, I still cannot take this over without feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks around uh, here. The Saber Station's antenna is a good reference. It's what I usually do. <laughs> I base myself on a landmark and from there I basically... Geography. <laughs> um, I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, bitch! Do you want anything else, Mario? Uh, I guess a Moonblast would be nice. Moonblast? Uh, Gut Punch, yeah, that, that one. <laughs> Wait, you want a Moonblast or Gut Punch? <laughs> Here. Huh, this is good. It's a Moonblast. I... No, never mind. Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? It isn't working? You're doing a terrible job, mate. Maybe, when you arrived I had to go to the bathroom, but after that you look cute. Cute. So why do you do it? Bikes are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society times. 
If you apply that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one the third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. <laughs> totally. I guess. You can do whatever you want and dress however you want, it's just uh, that you look like you're trying so hard. Maybe too hard. But you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. Who we'll say you cannot dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but the other bikers. That sounded like something someone in high school would say. Uh. Uh. Just advice, don't take it personally. No, you're right, I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to, we yeah, ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. Uh, it's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. <laughs> Didn't don't say a word, just look mean as hell. <laughs> I see. Will you have another drink or did you have too many already? I can handle another one and get me a fringe weaver. Sure, here. Yep, that's the one, thanks. Say, the guy over there. Gil, what's up with him? Are you dating him? No. Is he seeing anyone? Not as far as I know. You think he... Hmm. He... No, never mind, I say nothing. Thank you for everything. <laughs> I think he should straight, but I. you should probably ask, just to be sure. Please come again. Ah, Gil, you hair-bracking fuckboy. <laughs> <laughs> you have really yeah, fuck boy! <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay, careful. And we're gonna take uh, no break whatsoever. I'm just gonna save very quickly. I believe here. And uh, let's go. Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. Who's Billy? I forgot who's Billy. Alright, back to business. Uh, back. Any luck? I managed to give out oh, Billy the homeless guy. Sorry, I totally forgot about Billy. <laughs> Sorry. I managed to give out some players, but uh, most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Raj Shiba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. <laughs> Make the dog uh, uh, give the flyer, don't you think so? <laughs> think, out, uh, think out of the box, snake. Eh? Dana? Uh, the door opens and the crowd goes wild, and when they see ah, a dog! What's <laughs> up, little girl? What are you doing in a bar? Honey, some help here. Hey, dog, I heard cats in, uh, in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. Oh, you really are bad with dogs, huh? Did I make it too obvious? Uh, why though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I just accepted it. I think it's because I just got that trade at random. When AIs are created, they are given fear, so taste completely at random. Really? This sounds a little bit counterintuitive. I just happened to get stuck with the fear of dogs and chinchillas. Why chinchillas? <laughs> of all the creatures in the universe, why chinchillas? Chinchillas are extinct, though. Oh my god. No wonder this fucking thing. This world is gonna be so, so dark. Thank god. What will you have? Well, it's that the time of the month, so I'll have the uh, Bleeding Jane. Come... Right... Up? Wait, are you gonna AI? Why do you need that feature? It is a feature? Why is a feature? Whoever created you is a mental fucking maniac. Here. A time of the month, do Lily menstruate? Yes, oil. Why? Um, maybe? Huh? No, silly, we don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are different stories. <laughs> what time of the month is this? The time that when I feel like drinking a Bleeding Jane. So how is business? <laughs> just, just fucking your everything. <laughs> I'd be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression and some dark in their lives. Although it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Ah, oh, of course I do, both humans and Lilwin, how of them got a sexy Santa dress? And that's no fair! <laughs> of course a sexy Santa! <laughs> dress! They were sold out, they wanted one too! Uh, but maybe it's better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares a lot of those people. I learned that the best way to maintain regular is just to dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm so acquainted as no need to hide me until reaching the door. 
<laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it kind of makes sense. I mean, you're just a regular person, and uh, if you dress like slutty as hell, <laughs> some people are like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> hell, some some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Although I must say it's a bit hard to get clients in the first place, they cannot tell what I do at glance. And the first time they see me after a cold, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Uh huh. I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, you serve only humans or do you serve Lilim too? Humans only, but I do have an up at least a 40% organic policy. 40%? Human from the neck up, dicks preferably organic, but I can make an exception. For females, I'm uh, not so strict though. Fair enough. Why? Do you know someone might be interested? No, just a uh, mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Give me a blue fairy, a big one, will you? Alright! Uh, probably be someone like Jill. <laughs> I'll probably ask. <laughs> Anytime soon. There you go. I'm sorry. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of days. Some guy has said that by drinking as many as he could, he thought he saw one, but he was dizzy and what he's seen was his puke. Damn. Oh. You know, earlier today there was a mega Christmas period around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving the drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing particular, it's just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's the mega Santa prank. Mega Santa prank? <laughs> this sounds extra. <laughs> extra! Uh, it's a prank I pull every year. First I pick a mall, wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to a Santa lab and uh, when he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can master, I want you to make me a woman. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes they try to cover it up, the Limi wants to be human. It's then that when I say no, I want you. After that I say, well at the very least I want a dildo, a big pink one or a very pumpy cucumber. <laughs> A bumpy one? Sometimes I spice it up instead of cucumber ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. Wait, you are- Sometimes I spice it up instead of cucumber ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. Oh, I thought it was a- You mean like woodwork? A pony- no, a... You mean an organic pony? And a crane to lift him? 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 Male pony? I once thought about screaming, help, I'm being molested! <laughs> I remember it was a prank, I didn't want to ruin a guy's life. <laughs> I'll consider it. <laughs> Although I did get a client that way, he became a regular soon after. Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> help, I'm being molested! <laughs> client! <laughs> oh my god, what the... I, you know what, L let's not expand. Let's, just, let's not expand. But yeah, three years and they still don't get that it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Numbers. I need numbers. <laughs> Give me numbers. <laughs> I need stats, girl. <laughs> are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay then, tell me your age first. 27. No fair, you didn't get to feature you or anything like that. Fine, I'll tell you. My model designed to look between 10 and 13 years old, but my last checkup said that my mental age was 24. Wow, oh. <laughs> she's younger than I thought. <laughs> How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret, I'll keep it with me. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age though. Why didn't you? With how dangerous everything's been lately, every year you get a... Uh, getting all these and a curse is an achievement. <laughs> you should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. <laughs> Feel free to do it. Um, do you want anything else? <clears throat> Let's see... Oh, Cobalt Velvet. It's been a while since I tried one of those. Alright. Cobalt Velvet. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it, I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey honey, what's day today? Uh, Wednesday? Not the numbers, number. Oh, the 21. 21st. 21. <laughs> Shouldn't you know that? I'm a Lilim, not a calendar. I thought you will know that much. Next you're gonna tell me to make some convoluted calculation? You can't? I could if I put my mind to it, but it's not something I have a quick access to. <laughs> it's basically like any human being. It's like, <laughs> can we do quick maths? Uh, yeah, sure, but it will take me a while. <laughs> yeah, I have an inner calendar and a calculator, but those are using lots of other operations every second. 
I could do all that, but it's a lot quicker to just ask you. I see. Why do you need the data, though? I have something to do on the 26th. I've been avoiding it for a while now. Oh, but don't worry, it's nothing dangerous or anything like that. Would you like some help? Uh, would you help me? If you tell me what it is, you need to help with. Maybe later, I have to go now. See you later. Bye-ya. You think she really cannot access calendars and calculator that easily? I guess it's kinda like how even a text processor can access the computer's calendar. You don't use it for that. Uh, why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any gas. Why not look again? Good idea. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> um, another kid? Maybe the bar got popular in some middle school? <laughs> what? That'll be a hassle. Um, oh gods, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Before the whole massive transmit the hack thing. At some point she talked about hacking become a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of teens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today there have been two kids already. Uh, how will bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids cartoons don't show any alcohol. True, true. Um, uh, excuse me, Smith. This is not a place for kids, so you should... Uh, um... Jill! She says so much! And she says nothing! <clears throat> She's not ordering anything. She's not causing any trouble. And there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing appropriate aside from alcohol. But alcohol is everywhere anyways. So, what do you suggest? <laughs> Bonker! <laughs> Let her be. Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and uh, shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like uh, they cannot hear you. Yeah. <laughs> she's still saying nothing. Jill? Ah! How the hell did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out uh, here with a beer? Alright. A beer for Gail. Haven't I seen a, a, that girl before? Did I? Did we? I don't remember. Here. Thanks. And I'll um, lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget. The disposal unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any expiring ingredients on your side? Oh, right, here. There's a bottle of caramel trying that is like a month past expiration. But you buy the sink so I remember to dispose it. Thanks. Hey, miss. Yes? Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... Uh, no, I mean, are you happy with your life, with your choices? Big question. Ah, I mean, I might have uh, one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? Uh, I see. Hey, Jill. Ah! <laughs> ah! Again? Aren't you a bit on touch? Maybe. What do you want? Yeah, you borrowed the screwdriver the other day? I did, why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last night. Last week, sorry. So I needed to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days, anyways. Town change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What? Did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? That only happens once and the old lady started it. <laughs> Bloody lady. Alright. Why does the arcade still use coins nowadays? Or physical money, when you get down to it. I think new arcades don't even use physical money now, right? Am I wrong? I mean, uh, I went to an arcade uh, to a friend, uh, with a friend of mine, and they basically accepted credit cards, like the machine itself, immediately. So they, you can put your credit cards if they basically take it. It was uh, weird. It's kind of weird. Or you can, like, uh, you can recharge the card. But the reason arcades still exist, nostalgia. Maybe. Hey, miss. Uh, yeah. You recognize me? Mm, recognize you? I have to say I do, but... Uh... Oh my god! I know her! She's the sister. She's the little sister of my ex-girlfriend. Which I don't remember her name. She, she is. I, re I only remember seeing the picture. But she, she's four years ago, right? She must be the little sister. Because uh, it wouldn't make sense otherwise. I want to say you do, but, uh, sorry. Really? You cannot remember your own sister's face? My own sister? 
Sister? Sorry, but I don't have any sis. Sister? Now you have a sister-in-law? No way, Gabby, is that really you? God, I'm sorry, but you've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has this been? Three years? Right. So you know her? Yeah, she's actually my... My ex-sister. Um, so how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer school and I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission test. I'll be out in the middle school next year. You've always been a smart one, so I'm not surprised. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet, I guess I still have a couple of years to think about that. Well, don't I feel... Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year. So, how's Lerno? Leno? <laughs> Leno? Wait, who's Leno? Uh, her sister. She's, uh, she's my... Well, girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something uh, that's not a cat? Call me surprised. Hey, don't talk shit about my baby. <clears throat> so how's Leno doing? She's dead. Sorry, I don't think I heard right. My sister is dead, Jim. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gabby, stop fooling around. No, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow! My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while you were all married here, mixing drinks and chatting. Wait, Lenore was sick? On oh, what? Since when? Localized non-machine rejection. We have a heart attack. She started complaining about the chest pains not long after you left. Was all that talk about getting you freedom worth it? Jill? Was your right to be married worth life of my sister? Why are you lashing out at me like that? Did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after you fight. I mean, I'm surprised that fight played a key role in killing her. But that's just speculation, you cannot expect. And all of that because you wanted freedom? What kind of freedom is so excited that it makes you hurt a nice three years old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my- SHUT UP! I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake, it's not like I infected her with nanomachine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I ever heard she was sick. And you don't really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? You even I understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? You think it was all easy for me? I was scared, I'm still scared, but I need to grab hold my life. But it was nothing to do with your sister. I loved her. You think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Eat it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot scream. I... I... I'll make sure that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief. I know. Come on, Jill, let's take you home. Home sweet home. Hey, Jill, you wanna grab something to eat? I'm not hungry. Want me to come in? Keep you company? I'm fine, I just... Just need to be alone for a bit. Jill, you can tell me what you're feeling, it's okay. It's not okay. It's... it's not. Come here, Jill, come here. Sniff. It's just, I feel like part of me is comedy right now. My old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but an animosity for me. And not only that, but I lashed out on her too. History fucking repeats itself. If I had a cow coward back then and apologized. If I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe. Maybe. Thanks, boss. I really needed this. Do you want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't you do anything funny, you hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you, if you feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, Four, she's your care, you hear? Yeah. Remember to call her. I'll call you later to check on your non nonetheless. So, what I found that interesting is the fact that they know. Sorry, she knew where I was working, right? So she could actually come in and tell me. So. Hmm. Very. Hmm. She is fairly now, but she really liked the uh, cutesy game poster she saw by in it while preventing her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. Okie dokie. She'll smile a bit and. at the cutesy poster. What is that? This one? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
as usual, I'm gonna end the episode right now, right here. Um, that was quite uh, that was quite an uneventful night. Uh, it appears our ex-girlfriend is dead. Also, I am a little bit um, surprised that they didn't even bother to contact her, which is kind of weird. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, I think they broke up. I mean, if you don't meet someone for three years, would you still be actually still be together? I would say even less. One year? Probably even less. Six months? Three months? I believe three months should be sufficient. Even one? <laughs> I'm not hearing anything from your <laughs> boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh... <laughs> For like six months, that that one that's too meaning. Like, oh, one is that, <laughs> or the other one is simply I don't know, broke up. Without saying we broke up, I think you should say we broke up just to like finalize everything. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as usual, thank you for watching and have a lovely day, a lovely evening, and go lovely bye.